the first game of the season, and first game as head coach. Um, what are your general thoughts? I'm I'm really really happy with our performance. Um, this is this Washington State team is a very disciplined, very well coached team. I've said it before. You know they got some Canadian national team players on their squad. They're much stronger this year than they were last year. And you know the fact that we're up one nil uh, at halftime, uh, I think it says a lot about uh, the progress that we're making. I'm really really thrilled with our effort tonight. We've got some things to work on, but we knew we were going to be a work in progress. So I'm really proud of the team. Great. So the difference between the first half and the second half, what do you think? You know, I think we I think we got a little winded. Uh, I think when, when you start to get tired, you know, the mistakes are a lot more plentiful. So, um, and you know, we're young. We're, we're very, very young. And, um, you know, we're going to get better as the season goes on, as we become more familiar with each other. Uh, I think we're going to be just fine. I think we're going to surprise a lot of people. Senior Rachel Domingo, how do you feel about today's game? What are your general thoughts? We definitely gave a lot of effort. We're up 1-0 going into the half. You know, we just need to... We we can't let them back in like that. We let them back in. They got two quick goals. They got the momentum. We just can't let them in next time. We started strong. I mean, we started really well. We just have to keep that the whole 90 minutes. Okay, so in preparation for next game, what are your, what are you guys going to do? Well, we're definitely going to do a lot of fitness and working on continuing our touches and our tactical and technical skills while we're tired because it does get exhausting in there and we need to keep on, like, the other team doesn't care if you're tired. We're all tired, but we need to be tactically and technically sound the whole game. There's no excuses.